I was standing 240 meters from the goal of my life, Mount Everest. I felt uh, miserable. I had a fever, a throat infection, and my oxygen did not work. And I had to turn around. If I didn't, I probably wouldn't have survived. I wanted to go back to Everest, but there was a lot more. I set out to climb the highest mountain on every continent in seven months. My first mountain in the Seven Summit series was my return to Mount Everest. Yep. Yeah. I was there 10 months ago, now I was there again. I was indeed ready for the summit, but this time I could feel that it was very different. It was the second toughest year in Everest history. 14 fatalities, many rescues, and I was uncertain in how it all would end. Then, the summit day. My uh, dream was fulfilled, the top of the world. But this was not the end, no. This was the start for my hunt for the seven summits in seven months. I took my dear companion Jarle from Norway with me. Ironically, we were about to climb the Null in seven days. But hell, the weather was bad. We're heading for the summit. This is gonna be interesting. The weather is predicted to be really bad. After Denali, I had to hurry down for my next mountain. The flight schedules were indeed extremely tight. In Irin Jaya, where I was to climb Carson's Pyramid, I went back to Stone Age. I met the amazing Danny tribe and they welcomed us to their village.
Carson's Pyramid is the most technical mountain of all the seven summits peaks. Again, the weather was bad. And on our last day, the seventh, we made it to the top. All right, summit of Carson's Pyramid, 4,884 meters above sea level. Finally, I'm here. Okay, three down, four to go. The Red Square in Russia. This time we're going to Mount Elbrus, highest peak in Europe. I've been on Elbrus before and I just love it. The nature is beautiful, the hospitality is great, and you can see all the relics from the Second World War. As I was so acclimatized, I could climb Elbrus once the weather became better. This time, unfortunately, not in seven days. Instead, it took me five. Right, summit of Mount Elbrus. Finally, I'm here. 5,642 meters above sea level. Four peaks done. Three remains. Kilimanjaro is the easiest mountain of all the seven summit peaks. Ironically, I became extremely ill. I was about to give up on Kilimanjaro because of my stomach flu, but fortunately, I recovered. I'm actually pretty glad that there's some rain now. It's so dusty up here, unbelievable. Get in your nose eyes, your throat, and this rain is most welcome. The sun just went down and uh, I'm just enjoying my last supper, for hopefully not the very last one, <laughs> before we go to the summit of Kilimanjaro. Five peaks done, two to go. Aconcagua was a thriller. We outlasted 18 days of storms, two summit attempts. Oh God, I had to go for a third attempt. What a horrendous wind. It's been like this for 24 hours now. And the wind is getting stronger and stronger. Six mountains done. One left. What an in unbelievable journey. But first let's go down and get some birds. Winson in Antarctica was my last peak. Again, weather did hold us back for a while. Then, after 191 days, it was over. This is what I call a full year at work. 